Good morning, Year 10. Um, I hope you're all well. I am going to introduce to you in this quick video um, how you can go about refining your drawings uh, with colour pencils. Um, this is a lead on from the activity where we're doing six zoomed in um, squares of a chosen section from our uh, theme photographs. So um, I am back at school, so I'm using school colour pencils. I have got my specialist colour pencils here and what I've done is I've taken my photograph and I've looked at the colours that I might want to use in this particular drawing and I'm going to keep it fairly limited I haven't got everything under the sun here but you will see that obviously my spectrum is mainly red so I've chosen obviously the reds and the pinks but around that obviously around the red spectrum um, obviously you are going to need a purple maybe to darken uh, and a orange in this case so think about the harmonious colors around your main color in your zoomed in section I may well use a dark blue to pick out some of these darker um, darker areas in this drawing so uh, just to recap this is a zoomed in section of this part of the photograph and I'm going to just start to work into these um, and I'm going to start picking out and defining. I want to start with, start with a really sharp pencil, really important that you are working in with a sharp pencil. So I'm going to head off with this now. Okay, year 10, you can see that I have spent a little time starting to build up some of the detail within this drawing. Now, the way in which I've been doing that is by blending my colour pencils. Namely, I've been using my harmonious colours. So I have been using the red, the purple and the orange to create this network of blended shades. And I am consistently working in and out um, and changing my colour pencils in order to create the different areas of tone. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this is a very, very complicated image. And there is a little bit of me that's thinking, my goodness, this is incredibly detailed. But with this level of detail comes really good observation skills. And as artists, this is a really important thing to be able to show that we can do. We can show that we can look, show that we can really observe and really get to grips with what is actually there, really noticing what is there rather than what we think is there. So it's really important with your success criteria for this piece of work to be constantly thinking, constantly asking yourself, am I observing this accurately? Is there more detail than I can add to this? Can I blend different colours in? Have I observed the shadows, the midtones, the highlights? Um, and take it slowly. This piece of work, each one of these, this is not something we're rushing. Each one of these uh, drawings is going to take an hour, at least an hour. You've obviously spent a little bit of time already uh, working to create the backgrounds and to draw everything out but it's just a matter of taking it slow observing each bit and it will slowly come together 
one thing you cannot do on this, unfortunately, as much as we would like to in our you know, world of instant gratification that we live in now, one thing you cannot do with this piece of work is you can't rush it and there's no point even trying. It's just a slow, steady, mindful activity. And by taking that approach, you will really, really see the benefit. You will see it come together slowly but surely. And it is worth the effort. I can guarantee a really good sense of satisfaction when you take your time with this and when you really, really observe the detail. Okay, I'm very much looking forward to seeing you all on Thursday for our double lesson. Do ensure, please, that you bring everything into your lesson on Thursday. Um, everything that you've done in the lockdown period, it's really important that everyone is coming in with their art packs. We will be continuing this work in our lesson on Thursday. So photographs, art packs, sketchbooks, everything in. No excuses, please, Year 10. Really important that all comes in then. Okay, good luck and see you then.